Hello, and thanks for joining us for today's conversation on financial eligibility for BadgerCare Plus. I'm Bryn McBride of ABC for Health, one of the partners on the Wisconsin Coverage Connections Project, a project designed to help make eligible children connect to health insurance, largely in the western part of the state. This project also comes with an effort to do teaching and training on Badger Care Plus and related programs, and that's what this is part of today. Let's remind ourselves about Badger Care Plus eligibility. There are financial and non-financial criteria that will help determine if a family or child you're working with is eligible for Badger Care Plus insurance coverage. Now, financial eligibility takes a quick look at the federal poverty level. Non-financial eligibility is handled in a different video. Let's look at what that financial eligibility is. It's different for adults than it is for children. Children are eligible for Badger Care Plus up to 306% of the federal poverty level, whereas most parents and adults without dependent children in the home are eligible only up to 100% of the federal poverty level. Now, Badger Care Plus uses the MAGI calculation, Modified Adjusted Gross Income, to help determine where a family falls on that poverty level. They use household size as part of that calculation. Now, that can sometimes be where people get tripped up a little bit. Household size isn't necessarily everybody under the roof. It follows tax filing rules. So we're going to be looking at the people in the house that are either tax filers and the people they claim as their dependents, and then look at the available income in the household minus any deductions that will give you where the family falls on the federal poverty level. Now, what if the family does not plan to file taxes and it's not clear who the tax dependents are? Then you can use what's called relationship rules. Who's legally responsible for the people in the household? Sometimes it's quite clear cut. If it's a mom and dad and two kids, if the parents are both legally responsible for the kids, that's a household size of four. Now we have a separate video that takes you through that FPL calculation and the MAGI calculation. It's just something to keep in mind that there are these thresholds that are available. When you apply for Badger Care Plus, you're not going to be necessarily trying to calculate where you fall in the federal poverty level. You're going to want to make sure you just follow the correct rules of writing your income down and the household size. Then the state, when they process your application, will generate that eligibility threshold and see where you fall on the federal poverty level. Now, counting income can sometimes be tricky. It's different if you're self-employed. There are different rules to follow. There's some income that's just not counted. That's where the Badger Care Plus eligibility handbook comes in handy. You can also call us. We answer this question all the time. The Badger Care Plus Eligibility Handbook gives you some of the rules that are followed and some of the procedures to determine eligibility for the program. We give you the Chapter 16 that talks through some more of this financial eligibility rule. Now, before you go, you can answer a quick question about Badger Care Plus financial eligibility. If you run into any sticky spots or get stuck along the way, give us a call at ABC for Health and we'll talk through it with you. Thanks for joining us.